to work yet. And you're get like, well, work. I mean, okay, I guess so. And, and and it's good. And you get to see some like very, very hype moments. Cause I think like uh, you and I as like officially, I think when we commentate, it's usually tournaments, right? And there's like hmm. a different vibe when it comes to like, uh, like a best of three or a best of five tournament set, you know, playing the long game. Yeah, crew yeah. battles, I, I'm really glad you guys are here to watch this because I think crew battles are like the future of spectator, uh, like, you know, Super Smash Brothers. I, I'm just, I'm being serious, right? Because it all comes to each stock matters. It's a team effort. The idea behind counter picking is really fun. You get to see a huge variety of characters, usually with a set, unless they're secondaries, you're usually locked to the characters you see. So I, I think just uh, crew battles, like, give you a nice uh, breath of fresh air, you know? It's, it's actually really, really cool. So that's that's kind of how I see crew battles, and that's why I always try to drag you and pull you in, because it's always fun to get somebody else to have their input on uh, crew battles and whatnot. Yeah, man, I'll scream over everything. Like, I get hype over the smallest stuff in this game. Yeah. I know a lot of people, they, they hate a lot of stuff in this game for some reason, and it's just like, dude, I... I love it, man. I just, I just want to talk about the game. Uh, like Luigi could do a zero to death, and I might pop off for it. Like I, I just, just how it gets sometimes. You know, it's like, oh my god, he got it at the most crucial moment. That, that's, that's where it is. It's got to be at the most crucial moment. Like some people always think, like, oh man, Luigi zero to death. That's so uninteractive and lame. And I mean, if you're playing against it, sure, I won't, I won't disagree with that fact. But for us as casters, that can like totally swing uh the nature of a match so yeah i know you're uh you get a hype over anything smash does this doesn't do have to, anything to do with commentary but when i was allowed to disconnect controllers offline two years after the game came out i screamed i popped off and that was dude that a seems like a lot of people but... got exci excited about that like that's actually huge <laughs> yeah i was like why hasn't it taken uh, why has it taken so long for that to happen and then when it did it's awesome so yeah i mean at least they did it right like yeah i honestly would not have been surprised if we went the whole game without like any quality of life improvements on that no no and I, i'm glad to see it uh, but yeah that won't that won't have to happen here for uh the online of course but whenever the offline stuff comes back that's a nice thing to see we got the match starting on we have drew and uh the huey okay no game bot into huey sorry that's the yep. thing with crew battles you can't just read the the names on the characters because usually it's uh it doesn't apply but yeah it's donkey kong versus ness what do you think uh this is definitely uh tough to deal with and it's uh it's definitely interesting i mean I've, we've seen i've seen it a couple times now um you know the, over on the uh meta view get clip tournaments which by the way you could just see their ad oh. down there in the middle right there um we actually see chunky kong go against uh best quite quite you know quite often mm -hmm. and um uh chunky kong is a player who makes this character look like they win matchups they have no right winning so like it's definitely a very interesting matchup you got to make sure that you're definitely going into it with the right mindset and you're like ready to you know you're gonna take 60 sometimes it's just how donkey kong works he's a big old character every time a new character comes out they got a zero to death uh zero to death combo <laughs> and it's always on donkey kong so um it's possible but it's just a matter of just playing the right type of like game plan around ness yeah, it feels like there's so much of a struggle to just simply get in on Ness here, right? I mean, it's worked out 75%, right? But, I mean, all these uh, these magnets, these PK fires can cause a problem here. And then the run-up up smash is going to be the first stock taken here within uh, these two crews. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Flare Blitz is already down. This is, I, that's an interesting choice, by the way, to throw Donkey Kong as your first. Uh, you obviously want to hope it's a good matchup, which, I mean, Don as you were saying, Donkey right. Kong doesn't have many. But uh, still, it, it's kind of crazy here. And I just... You gotta find that like killing blow. You gotta back air as you catch the jump. I love the down B, but it just seems to me like the Huey is oh always ready God. to shield. Except for that, that that's that silly. I, I... He, he definitely threw out that spinning Kong and just hope for the best. And dude, Huey just happened to fall into it, man. Just happened to drop that shield. Unfortunate for them, but I mean, hey, they're getting a nice little bit of percentage on the second stock right now. Could potentially get a bit more here without taking anything. Oh, not true. Oh, huge. I love that. Oh, very nice. You think you go for the up air, but I like oh, that. Oh my goodness. goodness. Get tough, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Sometimes the methodical and like optimal neutral, I mean, it's not what Donkey Kong needs to go for. Donkey Kong just needs to go for, I guess you could say the bananas. Right. Yeah, okay, but totally definitely trying to get in some of these uh, these aerial uh, Kong slaps. What is this down B called? Uh, Whatever. I, I, Kong slap. I'm not even going to lie. I think you got it. <laughs> it's uh, 
Well, whatever it is, um, he definitely, he's definitely trying to in implement that a, a bit more. And obviously, it's a, it's a pretty solid move. It's got a couple really solid hitboxes. Um, can spike off the ground into, you know, up smash or or mm -hmm. up tilt or something like that. So, I mean, it's definitely smart to be going for him, especially because you can, like, B-reverse it. So, you can change your momentum. And uh, we've seen a game bot here try to throw it out a couple times. Just has not really been super successful. But got a charged giant wow. punch. Does not matter. Just a, just a short hop nair going to be able to take out that second stock. And now, all of a sudden, game bot's got the lead here for Flare Blitz. Yeah, oh my gosh, and the shield, it's getting so slow. That's very, very threatening. Uh, I love it when Donkey Kongs uh, go for the down beat just to threaten people's shield, and uh, it's kind of crazy. One thing about Donkey Kong that's kind of cool is, like, you're always going to want to shield against him because all his moves are devastating, but uh, you can use it to, like, get grabs and stuff, and already that's small. Good stuff there with the, the back hair, though. It's going to take away that stock. It's going to even things up. Mm -hmm. and, like, it, it, this is, like, a tough part about a crew battle because, like, whoever wins this, it decides the, the big factor you with getting, like, early momentum. So you, we really need to see uh, which crew is going to be able to take that. I was about to... Oh, okay. I was about to see some, like, extensions off the magnet. Getting the PK fire, kind of nice still, regardless. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so, oh, this could be a big opening. Okay, it's going to go for the... Uh, oh, big punish. Oh, wait. No, what, the smash ground. ultimate. It, oh, my oh, God. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that is way safer than it looks. Add that to the list of moves that you think you can punish, but you actually can't. Or at least with the shield grab. Or... Gamebot is definitely struggling here, though. They had that opening to really put some good damage down on Dehuey and just uh, kind of flubbed it a little bit. And here we mm -hmm. go, man. Dehuey just getting these hitboxes. Keep in mind, Ness is pretty much a moving hitbox, man. And, and if he's if he can't just get in his face, he's going to be throwing out these PK fires, these PK thunders, just to try and put some more damage from a distance. And oh, geez, you got to be careful with that. And when, the higher percentage you get, the less invincibility you're going to have in that ledge. And that down me from Donkey Kong will just straight oh, up kill you. Yeah. <laughs> but Donkey we're going to see the back throw instead. Land. That's so rough. Having a down air that's like that kind of small, I guess you'd say, for Donkey Kong and that has end lag just means you don't want to go for it. And then where are you going to go? You just go that way and just get back thrown. So you're getting good stuff here. Oh, we got instant replays? This is technology. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, man. Yeah, we're in the future. 2021. Yeah. Uh, this is the year everything turns around. At least we can hope. But yeah, uh, the Huey did a pretty solid job. But like, even outside of that, like you kind of brought up earlier, Donkey Kong's a really tough, like, you know, start off character. And you kind of want to hope you have a good matchup. And honestly, that's Donkey Kong. Not a good matchup. But GameBot definitely did a good enough job considering what's on the board here. Uh, even if you don't take all three stocks, if you can at least take two to start things off, I mean, your team's not in a bad spot overall because now no. uh, Flare Blitz is going to be able to get a really solid counter pick and they could potentially go pretty far here. They just got to take that one stock and potentially the next three if they can. Yeah. Yeah, if they take the one stock, then it just is fine. It resets. All the percents go back to zero. You get another stage. So it's totally, totally fine here. I think a big part of how uh, Dehue was able to bring this back to is a lot of uh, uh, game bots' attempts at just getting all those uh, moves in there. They were just being perfectly, like, you know, shield and whatnot we saw with the down b right there the defense kind of pulled through that was an unorthodox option that basically no one is ever ready for spinning kong is very very scary but i mean without uh that really heightened awareness there was no way that uh what is it gamebot was gonna be able to clutch this mm -hmm. and yeah had that landed too there was two times i think where uh the neutral b from donkey kong was shielded just the most uh, crucial times so yep. yeah yeah uh, there's actually crazy. that one point where uh, he was getting some of those Kong slaps going on. He had two of mm -hmm. them, and he probably could have gotten away with a third to actually get the shield break, but he just kind of dropped it, and uh, the Huey was just able to roll out. I don't know if he would have right. actually gotten it, but that. like we, that, that shield was so low, man. Honestly, just one more poke would have done it for sure. But you know what? It is what it is. Flare Blitz. It's um, not, excuse me, not Flare Blitz, but... Um, Oh, and then ink and then ink will be able to take that that first the first three stocks I guess is you know really just yep. what I'm trying to say here so uh not a bad spot yeah I say uh crews can always like make things back and you never count on any crew because they always got phenomenal players until there's a three stock deficit because obviously for those who are watching it's very very obvious to know this um basically a three stock deficit is being down by a whole player so you have to, that means someone has to be able to, like the, the collectively of your team is clutch and just make the, the deficit uh, come through again. But to see 18 and 19, that's nothing. It's definitely fine. It's going to be up to Flare Blitz to just get that first stock without losing one of their own. And we're back to square one where the 18, 18 will be even. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what they'll definitely want to fight for. So, yeah. Yeah, no, uh, good stuff all around. Now we're just kind of waiting to see who Flare Blitz is going to be counter picking with. I don't know. Um, I don't think I really know many of the players here. Actually, let me just pull up the rosters here real yeah. quick and we'll go check that out. So we got Flare Blitz and NN Inc. So, uh, I want to pull up the roster too. 
All right, uh, got these uh, highlighted here. And I'm looking through some of the names, and uh, I mean, they got a couple of their own Nesses. So if they really want to go for the, you know, the Ditto, they they could do that. And I mean, Ness is not a bad character to have, especially because you know they got um they got cool Ness there. They even have Desk. I mean, Desk probably isn't. Oh, a good Desk, yeah, Ness, Desk, but is, Desk is solid. Yeah, Desk is really good. <laughs> what is this tag? Biggles, the Swedish Rudentia. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never I've never seen them not on my That's screen. It. And if I have then I just have yeah, forgotten. Yeah, um I'm looking through these names here. I don't think any name particularly sticks out to me. Oh, I they don't. got LRA start in Narnia though. Narnia is actually really good. Fresh as well. Uh so they got some hitters here. They got some players. I was trying to see if I could find Oh, they got title too. Ooh. Oh. NN Inc. has Mr. Flitcher, who's like a, a stream regular on my stream. It's a really good Bowser that okay. places really well at most tournaments. Um and then so, ink wait snook I is on that Ooh. did it have waka i think too i don't know if that's the waka but it is it's waka i mean if it if it's the luigi waka from uh from mexico that is a huge player to have so i mean hey that could definitely be a big player for them as we get further on in here but um i think what i was just trying to look for is you know does um flare blitz have like a game and watch or maybe like a good sortie because Ness yeah, can really sortie. struggle with those um in particular it's just a matter of just you know recognizing who's on your team and making the right call i mean we're seeing that they're definitely chatting it up right now uh, are they in crew battle or chat one or two chat chat one yeah i i mm. think it's a a big thing too is like not only do you want to really solid counter pick into the opponent you're about to face but one that is difficult to get counter picked right like one that's like right. oh that's just that's just character works so well with everything i mean that's why like wolf exists you know like he's really solid to throw into a matchup and then it's gonna right. be like man like how do we counter pick this character they're so solid right um exactly. but yeah if you get a good sword character a lot of the times like you're gonna have to like pick a matchup that hopefully the player doesn't enjoy because most sword characters are really versatile they can just kind of mm -hmm. deal with that let's just take a look here Ooh. yeah i also saw nn inc has some good ones okay here uh, I want to see right. the action from this player. Yep, we're gonna oh, get Cordy in here. Right. Um, That's, I'm very, just gonna call it. <laughs> it, it's, 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 it could be very tough. Um, good Isabels are a menace um, to a lot of different characters. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> because um, <laughs> this this character could just you know has has good a uh, good forward air, good back air, you know that a very quick projectile that can become a big problem you know if they actually just wow. ran off stage there and pocketed that pk thunder that would have just ended it straight up yeah i i feel like this is about player is very knowledgeable to the point where they'll they'll go for that option if it's presented a nice dash whoa, whoa. oh my goodness okay. <laughs> what <laughs> all right so yeah. that was it that was that was four air dash attack up smash <laughs> yeah that's exactly i i rarely see a uh up smash and there is lloyd mine perfect stuff wow. i mean that it's in their in-game name right now lloyd mine is in it so we're probably yeah. gonna see really good use of it nice back throw here and recovering high of course because you don't want to have to pk thunder it's a little oh. bit too close to ledge so it's a little tough um to do it there i wonder if cordy is actually looking for the uh an opening to possibly get off stage and just take that pk thunder from uh from de huey if that that chance arises yeah oh, oh going for up smash probably not the smash attack you're looking for here probably wasn't expecting the cross up but still very very good here all right another dash two, attack no okay these two kind of kind of dance around here a little bit. okay so this is where things are gonna get a little interesting because now we're seeing to huey having a little bit of an advantage state here you know getting cordy off stage trying to find a way to take a stock if they can take mm -hmm. another stock here they have gone above and beyond you know what's expected of them and this could have yeah. been tough gonna find a way back on stage good stuff to cordy there's so much pressure here on QWERTY because it's like, again, you just, you really don't want to lose a stock right here. 144. Uh, there's a lot of kill options here for Isabel. F-Tilt would have been one of them if it was close to the ledge. So you just need to find that right move. There's a Lloyd Mine. Da oh! oh! Good I, stuff. I don't know if that was Super Mind Games to, like, encourage the Huey to, like, get up, attack it, to nullify it. But that was a really, really good F-Tilt there uh, at the ledge. And honestly, in my eyes, that was really good. Uh, yeah. My only issue now is that it's like, I find it that, you know, despite uh, QWERTY being so skilled, it's pretty easy to counterpick Is Isabel, so we'll see what happens. But otherwise, I'm very impressed with the play that I saw. Yeah, no, that was actually really smart. Like you mentioned, it was a little bit of mind games. I think it was just kind of like, hey, I'm going to put this mind down, but then I'm going to back up a little bit because, you know, hey, maybe this nest rolls in. Maybe I can get another option. 
Um, cause usually when you see your opponent back off away from the ledge, he's like, okay, they want me to roll in, but mm -hmm. I mean, obviously to Huey he's like, yeah, I could just get up, attack this. <laughs> and Courtney was like, I bet like eat this forward, uh, forward tilt, eat this umbrella, man, go to the blast zone. And now, uh, able to even it up entirely 18 stocks a piece for both of these teams. Um, Flare Blitz, uh, and Courtney did their job here. They, it was a really good counter pick. And now it's just a matter of like, do you have a character that, um, is not only just good enough to be able to counter Isabel, but do you have a player whose mentality is good enough to deal with Isabel? Because I know a lot of people don't necessarily like fighting um, Nesses online and stuff like that. And, mm -hmm. you know, for good reason sometimes, Ness could be a bit overwhelming. You know, you don't want to deal with that. Isabel, again, like I said earlier, a completely different beast, man. Yeah, same thing. It, it, it's a really horrible feeling as a player sometimes to be like, all right, you know, I love jumping in ultimate. It's a great feeling. And then you jump and you just get forward aired and back aired. Very much the same thing happens with Villager. You try to dash around. There's that quick dash attack. And it's really annoying. The Lloyd mine uh, controls the ground. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, oh, and you just feel sometimes like, yes, if you land these crazy hits, you can do tons of damage. You know, she's quite light. But uh, you can feel, and especially in an online environment, that pushing through to finally get your punish window can be really hard on a well-trained and well-experienced Isabel. So it's exactly what you said. I was going to say the same thing if you didn't say it, but you said it for me. So, I mean, that's probably why you're here casting, right? You're so experienced. You know what to say. <laughs> oh, no, dude, it's honestly just been luck and people just have not caught on to the fact that like, not only am I not a good talker, but I literally just make up things on the spot and people just have accepted it. They just have not challenged me. That's exactly how I've gotten this far. Yeah. There's no other reason that, and I have a lot of money. I'm actually paying a lot of people under the table. So I mean. yeah, there you go. If you want to know it, that that's the advice, the the golden advice that Skiff will give you right here. Take yeah. it till you make it, and have a lot of money on the have side. Have a lot of Save money, money. <laughs> honestly. Put you on the table. Uh, and not that order. Have a lot a lot of money first, and then fake it till you make it. Like that is <laughs> that is the best way to handle things in life. <laughs> no, exactly. That's right. Really uh. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, anyways, this is what, uh, this is the, always what happens when it comes to crew battles. And hopefully, I mean, I, I love talking to you anyways, and it's, it's really awesome, but you've experienced this when you get to, um, uh, co uh, like commentate with me when I drag you into crew battles, uh, you know, against my, will without, without, against, against your will is what I was going <laughs> to say. Yeah. Is, uh, they got to go ahead and pick stages and counter picks. Now I believe for rise champions league. Uh, due to how like you know notable it is, they're probably gonna be faster on this than most. I have mm -hmm. sat my chair. My chair is comfy, but I've sat on my chair once waiting for a counter pick for like they oh. they'll go for the seven minutes and then they'll call for the extension and then we're like, dude, it's it's literally a free. It's yeah, honestly, <laughs> what what matchup would it be? It'd be like something like an Incineroar or something or like yeah. you know a heavy and it'd be like. Ooh, yeah. see, I oh, like wow. that, man. That, That's that is, good. That is what we're doing. Hey, look, all I'm saying is, um, there's, there's a. Actually, I won't say. It. I won't say because you, because you do, you stream, you stream for them. I'm not gonna go ahead and badmouth anybody. But. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I mean, I don't really have anything else much to say other than honestly, they, they can. Take I was, I was gonna mention the Smash Crew server. Yeah. The, <laughs> yes. They, yes. They, they, they allow how long? Like 30 minutes? Uh, like, so seven, seven minutes, and then an extension. The extension is an additional like several minutes, and then the 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 penalty for taking that long is just either could be as little as losing a stock and it's like okay man oh, but my time geez. though and it's yeah, like right? it's also like <laughs> you really you really ice the, the other crew because it's just sort of like they just have to like sit there and wait but you know rise right. champions league not gonna let that happen well okay Ooh, if you're gonna counter pick oh no uh ditto, ditto? yeah okay is it are you Okay, it is Ditto, right? I, I see Plague in the chat, and they also play Min Min, so I was wondering if it's that, but no, it's just Ditto, I'm guessing. Right. Yeah. I mean, even visually, as us as casters, we could definitely see, like, the frame drops uh, and oh. stuff. So, oh. yeah, see, like, exactly right there. And <laughs> honestly, yeah, fighting is... a Min Min and lag... Say what you will about uh, fighting Min Min. Everyone's entitled to their opinions. Uh, mine are quite strong. Uh, but, like... <laughs> but this, uh, is, this isn't just any Min Min. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but like I'm just saying, fighting women and lag is rough. I will fight offline women. I'll fight ones with good. I will fight pink shirt guy any day. You know they have good internet. Dude, pink shirt guy is an absolute homie, man. If I heard yeah. anybody ever talk any sort of shit about him, I will fight them on the spot. But yeah. uh, ooh, man, this is this is definitely looking kind of tough right now, especially because like. I mean, it's not like uh, you know, Isabel, you know, doesn't thrive, and a little bit of lag sometimes either. No, no offense to Cordy, but like 
Min Min's already tough to deal with as is <laughs> sometimes. And then you have like, oh, my my reactionary inputs that are already like a 20 frames of input delay uh, go uh, are even worse now. Like, come on, man, this is just it's just not fair. <laughs> Yeah, the, right now it, it's kind of interesting because like I, I'm watching the match here unfold, but also it, it's very, very um, strange because I think they're like they're playing, but I don't think they're aware that they're probably going to end up making this match like not forfeit, but like switch it out. Yeah, we'll uh, see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. But let's commentate as if it's the real match, though. Here we got one 119 sure, sure. here. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. Cordy's kind of pulling through and doing an all right job. Yeah, it's Not definitely taking a little bit. You gotta you, with Min Min, you're gonna take some hits, right? I just I don't think there's ever gonna be a match in the history of Smash Ultimate here where like someone will JV for a Min Min. I just it just I just don't see it happening, man. No, not at all. Yeah, that that's I think what you gotta do. Yeah. Oh, there oh, it is. Okay. We'll never we'll never know how that match fully plays out, but honestly, I think it's for the better. Uh, of course, bless. Plus Sable, honestly, like now instead of pointing fingers uh, about like who do you think is lagging or whatever and having mm -hmm. to guess and doing like lag tests, the, the the program will tell us for it. So I believe that, um, what is it? They're going to be able to uh, swap out uh, a player here. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's I think it's really funny because one time I was doing a crew battle and uh, one of the players was like, dude, where are you from, man? Because you are so laggy. I could never play in this connection. But because I had Sable, I knew that they were the ones that were actually lagging. And I had to be like, no, dude, I'm I'm going to be real with you. I think I think you have a ton of flags. I, I think it's you, man. And they're like, they they were had this like machismo attitude of like going aggressive and going like, it's your fault. And then once they found it was them, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm really sorry. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll swap out my B. You know, I know, at least, really at least they, like the they they had the, uh, the 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 humbleness to a point, you know, like because at least they weren't hard headed, like nah, it definitely isn't me, and it's like, well, here's all like the data proving it's you, and like yeah. nah, not me, no. Yeah, this is no. Uh, me, man. Yeah, there's no rag on the SCS, but if I recall, I am quite sure not like they let EU players in, which is totally fine, like if, you know, based on whatever your subjective opinion is on it, but land is not required. I mm -hmm. that is like the crazy thing, so. It's, but land is required oh. here. The, 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 that's what I was coming to, right? Land, so some people who are in these crew battles, they're so used to being like, well, if I can play uh, cruise without it, maybe for Rise, uh, I don't have to. And you got to read the rules. <laughs> you got to read the rules. And also, I mean, I don't know if it's already passed, but I mean, Last is doing a giveaway for uh, a land adapter. Like, it's you got you to gotta get one. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like, and it's just... I don't know. The, the, there is no counter argument to playing without one. Like, I, I, except for the one that I hear uh, from some players, which is I can't get. Uh, they have no control of their router location. Basically, if they live with their like parents, something like I can't get right. the wire to go all the way across the house. Right? That's valid. But like, other than that, when you get a LAN adapter, you're improving not only your opponent's experience, and so they'll feel like you know, validated to play against you, but mm. also you will have a better experience. And like, wouldn't you want to have a little bit of a better experience with the, you know, kind of how awful like Smash Ultimate is already if you don't have a LAN adapter? So I, I don't know. That's just how I see it. So, uh, and yeah, my goodness, <laughs> I saw the amount of flags here. And as someone who uses Sable as well for their crew battles now, uh, the amount of flags that I saw were actually crazy. So for example, for those who are who are watching at home, who are curious here, uh, flags is when uh, it drops frames or when it just can't the pack there's packet loss excuse me that's what i meant to say and there was over 200 so there's 200 instances in where packet loss occurred yeah yeah but it's usually between five and ten in a minute where it's dq worthy like that's when us as tos or casters who are looking at sable go like okay that's a little bit uh strange we should uh look into that right uh, but I mean, you do the math, right? 10 times 20. <laughs> Wait, is it, did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's 200. So that's like, that was a uh, insane. So, uh, for some that's, and I've seen people argue, like they've dropped that many flags, right? Uh, there's that many flags have dropped, uh, frames or whatever. And it's like, no, no, it's not that bad. I promise. Like it's, it's okay. But yeah, anyways, it's not to like, uh, flame the player or whatever. It's just, Things can happen, and just if if you have a, a LAN adapter, please utilize it. Mm -hmm. And if your internet can't put up, it's there's really not much uh, you can do because competitive integrity for both crew battles and tournaments is like super important. 
So yeah, so there. I think I'm gonna go read the chat right now. I think they're just gonna go ahead and swap. Um, and then, oh my goodness, I'm seeing some speech. Also, I find it really funny. We we got sent a video of um, like them showing off like a screen cap of what their homepage looks like. Cause of course you want to see the ethernet icon. Uh, I think uh, Skiff is really good friends with uh, Cact. Also like, I, I, I love them mm. as well. They're very, well, I, are they friends? Are you, I don't, mm. you're not really friendly with a lot of people. I feel like you only do this because um, you have so much money under the table. <laughs> uh, I don't like any of the Wi-Fi Illuminati. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, they're all great people, but we obviously <laughs> we have to we have to pretend to. Oh, uh, oh, oh, Skip, they're losing you. You need to. You no, need I'm to, here. I'm here. More under the table. No, I know. Oh yeah, it's, <laughs> this is better. Well, it, honestly, now Rise Champions League is something I uh, I'd watch even more now because it's two of me. See, oh, you don't man. need Skiff. You can just have me twice. <laughs> no, I, I'm kidding. But what I was gonna say was like um, the people who uh, ah! uh, <laughs> the people who uh, fake the the wired stuff or the people who go through extra lengths to like cover it up and be like, no, I swear I'm playing on land, but they don't. It's just, there has oh to be a, God, its dude, own Twitter Kak, account. Cac literally has some of the best ones. One dude was, uh, he was connected by land, but the land was connected to like his raspberry Pi or whatever. Uh, and like all sorts I of, I think like... that was at my tournament. <laughs> and it got, yeah. And it got called out by Cac. Yeah. yeah there was, was that, that was um, there, there's a whole bunch of like really messed up stuff like people just like they won't show whether or not it's like connected they'll show like a picture of a land adapter but they won't show yeah. like the land adapter connection on their switch it's just there's a whole a laptop bunch of crazy charger stuff, man. is a laptop charger and they're like you know the end of a laptop charger we have to plug in the the plug I think that, that's I think that was happened. last recently wasn't that Oh yeah, last uh, I guess experiences a ton of them too but also there's one where uh they'll go into like MS paint or whatever and they'll like take the the gray color draw it over their wi-fi symbol and then go into paint with a paintbrush and like try to draw exactly like the wired icon and then it's like we're not dumb we can see that <laughs> this is the only time i've ever had my wi-fi be this god awful <laughs> it's the wait 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 <laughs> wait they i just looked at their speed dog, test dog nod <laughs> <laughs> the dog gnawed on it and <laughs> didn't expect <laughs> my internet to be moody, but <laughs> sorry, I couldn't play the crew battle. My dog ate my internet. <laughs> uh, how? I mean, like, dog ate my homework is already so dumb oh to my hear, but God. dog ate my internet? Yeah, Dude. dog ate my uh, ethernet cable. Sorry. Uh, I, did <laughs> I swear to God, I have planned. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe Dog Ate My Land Adapter is what we're experiencing now, man. It has definitely been a year of Wi-Fi for sure, and this is definitely the cherry on top. I swear to god, everybody, the light's at the end of the tunnel. We're almost yeah. there. Just like, just have a land adapter. <laughs> it's, it's really not that hard. I don't, know. Oh. I don't know what to do about that one, man. Like, you would, exactly, you'd think that, like, because we're so close to the end here that everyone would have one by now, just so they could play this game. If you love this game, just get yourself a LAN adapter. It saves lives. Oh I'm telling you. Oh my god! I can't uh, believe dog ate my LAN adapter is something I heard. Like I, it's That's like I can't even That's imagine being a TO in these Wi-Fi environments because they already deal with enough as it is. You can ask Last, Griola, and Cact. You know they're they're everywhere anyway. But like, and every time, like I swear, they feel like they've seen it all. Something else happens, man. There's there's always something. It's not even just land adapters. It's just like yeah. situations with players, names. Like I, there was one actually. Cac posted recently. Uh, a player was going by the tag LeBron James. He said LeBron James are going to need to see the picture of your land adapter, please. I was like, what the hell is this? Uh, um, yeah, I hate no, this game. I, I love this I, game, I, but I hate this game. So it's, it's just sometimes the people with their integrity, right? It, it, it's like, what do you do? So I don't know. Uh, new bands here from QWERTY and, uh, oh yeah. All right. Yep. So, hey, let's get some ad slides here. And as we are all aware, man, we got a few sponsors and partners for this, uh, this tournament championship league, uh, for one MSM, man, the guys over at 2GG, absolutely phenomenal um msm every monday it's free to enter north america only an event starts at 5 p.m uh 
Pacific, which is like 8 p.m. Eastern, so 7 p.m. Yep. Central. Uh, just, just something to keep in mind. Every Monday, man, these guys have been getting so many people, like 500 plus, 600 plus, 700 plus sometimes. It's, it's unreal. If you want some good Smash Bros. action, you want to make a good run in a free-to-enter tournament, every Monday, man, MSM on 2GG. Is that the only slime? No, there, oh, we, go. No, there we go. <laughs> I, I, I was waiting. Uh, so, ANG <laughs> Esports, uh, I can't see because my camera's covering, but I know it's something out of Smashville every Sunday at 2 p.m. EST. Uh, it seems like they're really, really active in a lot of like um, other esports and game ventures that are different than uh, just Smash. I see them post a lot about it because they seem to have here Smash Bros. Ultimate, Ravels of Ether, Brawlhalla. Rocket League, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, and Pokemon Showdown, which I've never seen like Pokemon Showdown before. But I mean, if you want to go check that out, uh, they have it there. And of course, Angie Esports, you can check them out on their socials down below. They have a Twitter, a YouTube, um, a Twitch, and a Discord server, it seems. So go ahead and check those out as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ANG, uh, you know, ran by uh, Grumpy Gamer G, uh, the head of ANG. They even have a crew in this tournament as well. Uh, fun tournament straight out of Smash Bros. Again, every Sunday, uh, more free to enter tournaments. It's like we're telling you a few free to enter tournaments every week. It's crazy. And uh, hey, speaking of free to enter, sometimes uh, once a month we get this thing called Get Clipped, and it's presented by these guys right here, MetaView. MetaView is a premier gaming app where you can get all sorts of video game clips from like Rocket League, Street Fighter, Call of Duty, and right here, Smash Bros. It's the game that we're watching right now, all in one playlist presented again by MetaView. It's on iOS. There is a Android waiting list that uh, you can sign up for. Just go head over to metaview.gg to check it all out. And uh, I'm not sure if what the timeline is. I assume we're probably mm -hmm. gonna be making a playlist for the Rise Champions League, but uh, even then, there's there's a whole bunch of players. Okay, so I'm being told tomorrow. There's a whole bunch of players, uh, partnered players, like I think Meister, Esam, um, who else? Uh, DK Will. Uh, <sighs> I feel like I'm forgetting is it, someone. But... It, it, it is one of them best Ness? I, I don't know. I don't know if best Ness is actually partnered, but he keeps winning all of their tournaments. Oh, he is? Okay. But he wins like every get clip that he enters. So like, it, dude's been an absolute monster. And, uh, you know, I do want to take a, a moment to shout out to all the exclusive members of the, the MetaView hoodie. I mean, not everybody can get one of those. And man, let me tell you, yeah, it's clean looking. <laughs> yeah. I think I see you have one, don't you? Oh, yeah, I got one. You think I'm not going right. to brag about something I don't have? <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, true. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> but, I mean, it's very obvious, obviously, but still. Yeah, look at yeah. all my millions of dollars. I'm definitely bragging about the money I really have. <laughs> no, exactly. Uh, hey, we're seeing Steve, by the way. This is kind mm -hmm. of, uh, this is a, you know, we go from one DLC character to another. We just moved down one spot on the Fighter's Pass. And, uh, yeah, what do you think? Because I'm sure you've seen a lot more Steven Tournament than I have at this point. I have watched so much Jake. And no disrespect to Jake. I mean, not always the most exciting Steve. But, like, they're making it work. And, actually, they're on a team in here, too, man. And the team that Jake's on is actually ridiculous. And they're going to be an absolute problem. But, yeah, this is definitely very interesting. Uh, I do really like uh, Micro's uh, <laughs> tag underneath their name. It really harkens back to, like, Xbox Live, the XXX yeah. Steve XX. <laughs> I, th I think that's really, really fitting. I mean, like, obviously, uh, it's, you know, Minecraft being a, a Microsoft property, it's what? only, like, perfect. And what was that? Have you ever <laughs> seen that happen before? Uh, no, I mean, it doesn't surprise me just, with, you know, with Steve being on the, the stage in general, man. Steve's got so many, like, weird interactions with every character. Have you seen the one where um, it's like uh, Captain Falcon runs underneath a block and down smashes and just shoots off to the blast zone? No, I've never seen that. I, oh, I, it's, I was... it's wild. I, I know he's hard to program, so I, I definitely, uh, it makes a ton of sense, but still. Anyways, 166 here. Stage. Yeah, 169. Yeah. At, oh, but never mind, the stock had to disappear. And you have to keep in mind, Micro did have to drop a stock at the beginning because of the uh, the weird lagging situation. So if anybody who wasn't aware of that. Yeah, it makes sense here. We have diamond tools, by the way. So literally a simple back here. Yeah, there it is. We'll do it. And now you get to hold on to the diamond tools into the stock as well. So it, it just means you have to just win neutral. It's a lot less to deal uh, tons of damage here. Wow, Woo! that was nice. There was a lot of scrapping going on right there, but finishing off with the up smash is really good. Did you know that a broom is uh, strong enough to parry a uh, diamond sword and <laughs> just clash with it? I love the Smash Bros. universe, man. That's just what it is. 
I mean, it just goes to show how like how strong of a power level Isabel has, you know, to be able to, the, you know, force that type of situation out. Oh. Okay, but here we go. Right now, Courtney doing a fantastic job. Took that one stock earlier from um. Oh, dude, I already forgot the Nest player's name. I feel so bad. But took the one stock earlier to reset the the, the, you know, the game count. Huey, that Huey, that's it. That is correct. And uh, I got you. Right now, I mean, it's, they're not technically gonna take four stocks, but. They kind of took three stocks so far. <laughs> Could be a fourth yeah. stock if they can finish this out. Yeah, what tools do we have here? Oh, there's still diamond. Okay, that's, mm -hmm. that's fair. Yeah, they should be running out relatively soon, though. Oh, wow, not going to be able to get that forward smash. Great shield from QWERTY. Now it's just a matter of just closing this out right now. Oh, got the, got the cart. Oh, no. Oh, there's that up smash. So good. And when you're already on a platform that high, there's no way uh, you're going to survive that one. That's kind of crazy here. I oh feel wow, like, just poured it through the minecart. Yeah, what were you saying? I feel like um having that pocket is just so huge to deal with minecart in general because minecart has been an absolute um demon for so many yeah. people on Wi-Fi. So to have that as a as a possibility, as an option, I think it's huge. Oh my god, another Whoa, that... umbrella kill to close it out. Yeah, no, this is uh showing me something new, which is I mean, it should be obvious, but I can't believe F tilt's such a great uh neutral tool in a way to kill. Like mm -hmm. uh it, it's been already being used to kill uh so many times. But yeah, I know what you were saying earlier, yeah, pocket is so useful because I think minecart quote like point blank, I mm -hmm. especially in an online fight, is very hard to react to. There it was, that was the F tilt that took that away and I'll uh, allowed Quarter to continue to stay and fight in this crew battle. And yeah, that there's the back air. I like the platform placement too. The blocks, excuse me, because then it just allowed for the back air to be uh, at the perfect height. That was actually the F tilt to take the uh, the first stock. Oh, from, the first. Uh, oh wait, my yeah, point. yeah. No, it just it's oh, just wait, umbrella see, kills only. <laughs> that's what's happening. So now I'm get, I get confused. <laughs> there's that. Yeah, because this one came out of the glide. Oh my goodness. Right. And not only the glide, but I had the kill screen at the end, man. Uh, dude, uh, Cordy is an absolute monster, man. With that forward tilt, spaces it just right. Has been has got three kills so far with it today. Uh, so three stocks, three umbrellas. I mean, it's it's just what Courtney's all about. So we got to see um, what uh, NN Inc. can bring in here to slow this down because right now, man, Flare Blitz is definitely sitting pretty. Mm -hmm. The NN Inc. If I if I take a look again, there as I scrolled down their roster, I found some other players aside from Mr. Flitcher that I recognize because mm -hmm. uh, there's a he really good hero player here and there's a really good game and watch player here. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I don't know anyone else. But I, I figured that out. So it looks to me like NN Inc. is like um, just sort of like a mishmash of like a bunch of crews just put together. It's not like because Flare Blitz is already an established crew. Fake Halo is mm -hmm. probably Black Halo, you know, uh, and then it's Angie. Fake Gang and Black Halo. Oh, that makes so much. Why did I not? Place that well, re, why don't you go check out the other one, the, the, the Grunted Renegades? Oh, man, these look disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> that one's messed up, dude. I scrolled down that. I'm like, this is not This is not good. This is not fair. And not only that, there's a few of them, too, man. Like, the Catholic crew, like, that team is way too good. Oh, yeah, I'm looking at that right now. Yeah, man, there's there's oh some there's some strong teams here. There's, like, four or five super, super, super uh, strong, um, strong crews here. And oh then a bunch God. of really solid crews that could make some strong runs and... It's, it's, I mean, it, it, this is definitely going to be the Wild West. We're only on like night one. Well, technically night one. It's night one of the actual stream on Rise tournaments. But man, this, this could be a problem. Yeah, dude, I, I, I really am taking a look here and I'm recognizing some names, but it's, it, it's kind of cool to see that, uh, <laughs> some crews collaborated and like, mm -hmm. um, put together some players here. And I think every crew has amazing players to offer mm. uh that are really different oh my god supergirl kells is actually in one of the crews wow. yeah the heroes this is really really cool yeah there's uh there's even some that like um like so the thing that we kind of mentioned about crews earlier is that like yeah you could um it, it's a different mentality you kind of have to get into and stuff like that but like yeah even some of these teams where like they don't have players that you're going to recognize from like big bracket runs they're good in crews because they know how to like handle a different type of like stress and pressure because uh, yes. the crews kind of tend to do that so you might see some crews that like don't really have a lot of very very notable players but they're good in this environment because it's a different kind of environment altogether so mm -hmm. like even if you see one crew that's got like all these players that you already know they could just do okay like it's we'll see i mean we'll, we'll definitely find out as we move forward here but yeah um right now it flare blitz just kind of go over things again flare blitz is currently up one stock on nn inc so uh we're just gonna see what is coming next here 
Yeah. I, I just want to touch up upon uh, sort of what you were saying, because like, obviously there's people's opinions on like the meta and a tier list and what characters are good and not, but like in crew battles, right? There are the, the key thing is like, stocks are the biggest resource because you can like win a set and take it to last stock every time play it slow right but some characters now who have like really good strong early momentum they end up becoming better and then players who are like really aggressive and can take stocks quickly and put on a lot of like you know back their uh, opponent into like the you know the corner that's amazing so i just want to touch up upon that and that's that's why sometimes some players do do better in crew battles uh mm -hmm. And vice versa so you kind of hit on the head there that was perfect so yeah uh i want to check the crew battle chat to see how things are going <laughs> i think another thing they kind of keep keep in mind too and this is uh one of the other things that we have a couple of um uh gimmick crews as well uh mm -hmm. we've got a uh like one of them is grimlio which is basically almost every notable robin <laughs> and robin is a is a problem on wi-fi um but also a problem in crew battles from what i'm told because uh, it's really hard to deal with them. Yeah, like how are you going to deal with another Robin time and time and time again, especially when a bunch of them are at the level that some of these players are in? And I mean, just them, we've got uh, Kimater fan club, uh, which is just nothing but we fit. <laughs> and like, oh, that's look, also tough. Oh, oh my yeah. Like, like, here, like the, the leader of that one is Nick District, and you got nine super pie, so good pop um our do like it, it, they're all there man it, it is a problem but outside of that we're going to be getting into our next match here we got cordy taking on caustic with the uh the nice reiner tag i wonder if that's a uh an attack on titan reference yeah i wanted the same thing too they said they wanted to do a lag test but i think they're just going to go right into it or maybe this is a lag test actually because they're just kind of oh I, now i'm just I always get confused. This is game. All right. Yeah, no, once once uh, they went ahead and got the ledge trap going on, I was like, this has to be real. But yeah, uh, if you had to do a counter pick, man, this is like the counter pick of all counter picks. Ike and Isabel, like big sword, huge range. You yeah. just swat Isabel out of the air. This this is it. So but I feel like this, this could also be yeah, I feel like this could also be a big problem for Caustic if he's not careful because I feel like mm -hmm. uh, especially if Ike whose resources for recovering are also you know very limited, if Cordy can find, you know, a good couple solid hits and then you know put Caustic off stage, it could just be a wash, rinse, and repeat uh until caustic just loses a stock over and over again so definitely has to be very careful but you were you are right does have some uh some mm -hmm. very strong moves it's just a matter of keeping oh there it is there's the <laughs> limited recovery they went yeah. high i mean i don't think they had to i think they could have most definitely went down to ledge but they took mm -hmm. that risk and it's going to cost them the stock and again that is the stock that feels really bad like mm -hmm. you could have just like went into the next uh match without having to deal with that but uh still now having lost that stock that's a uh, gonna leave a dent for sure for sure yeah and uh, we just got to see how um caustic just kind of keeps going here so this is one of those situations too like uh play lame as hell man try to get as many stocks for your team as possible oh that's a big back you're definitely gonna be able to put that dog away but um mm -hmm. again like what i was trying to say is like cordy i wouldn't be of surprise if cordy just played super super lame uh, the rest yeah. of the time and you know it's kind of encouraged at that point because you're trying to take as many stocks for your team it's not like a bracket situation anymore it's, it's a team game it's uh, a team yeah this, yeah with this type of format but at least being able to take one stock so that's what five stocks total for that's uh really for good 40. that's that's super good super good yeah. three stocks is like all right you did a great job four is like okay sweet all right this, this should be nice and then five five and onwards it's like Mm -hmm. That's uh, extra credit. Yeah, now basically uh, Isabel's out of here, so no more dog chewing on the Ethernet cable, it seems. Unless it's right as <laughs> again. But, uh, but uh, yeah, so that's that's going to be interesting. We'll see what happens there next. That was a very, very clean uh, back here to seal that off right here. I really can't believe we got dog ate my Atlanta adapter. <laughs> that's like the best excuse I've heard, and it's still like sitting in my head oh, rent free. That, that was an actual excuse we heard. Oh, I'm just going to. I got I to gotta tweak that at some point. <laughs> Nick District saying a gimmick to. crew, excuse me. Uh, dude, oh, they, they're yeah, the real deal. Shut up. Shut up, dude. The We Fit crew and the and the Rob crew and the uh Is there a Rob crew? Not Rob. There's a Rob like, crew, yeah. They're called is yeah, there's Rob and Robin. Uh the Rob crew is called That's um, not gimmick, that's just they want to win. If you that's, that's, called, the, that's the that's the that's the secret. Just, you pick it's a just Rob crew, side that's, B. <laughs> side B, that's perfect. They got a couple, though. They got a couple decent robs, but like I looked through it and like the yeah. robs that normally come to mind when you're talking about them, none of them are actually in the crew. I mean, oh, okay. It's still Rob. Rob is a very versatile character. Um, a lot of people tend to agree top five online. 
Oh um, yeah, I, which, I feel the same way. Yeah, yeah, which, which is, you know, you're good. And if you, as long as you can get in there and play your game, then yeah, you're doing just fine. But um, yeah, it's just uh, definitely a gimmick. Uh, we Fit Trainers, already a gimmick character, and now you have a whole team built around it. <laughs> they, got the, then, they got the header buff too now, which I, I, I know right. most people say it's temporary, and I believe it will be, I'm sure. Probably. But like that character is incredible in crew battles because you know, that character deep breathing is so scary projectiles slow things down they do a ton of damage mm -hmm. uh they can camp you they can aggress you like i think that's that character probably is becomes a much much greater threat in a crew battle mm -hmm. yeah uh oh dude here we go we got the we got the we fit trainers in chat man they're trying to, to push that agenda they got that mars mentality going on right now but um but no dude it's gonna be really funny if they don't touch the header right we get all listen we get all the way to the championship it's the it's the we fit crew against like grunted renegades like we can do this and then boom nerf city removes the header yeah, <laughs> entirely just, the, the mid uh the mid patch patch where it's just like uh or, or, yeah where they just were like okay we're gonna get rid of this one thing sorry about that i, I hear it's like how are you gonna lose to we fit if you send out a villager or a pika I just mean conceptually, the character is just so good in crew battles. Oh, yeah. I've seen, I've seen Wee Fits like do incredibly good job. Yeah, yeah if shout you out to Narnia in the chat though. Narnia's sick. <laughs> I only speak the truth. We Fit is top fifteen. Honestly, the placement of that character in a tier list, regardless of whether it's online or offline, it's it's very difficult to place because I, I, yeah, I actually kind of agree with the whole point of you can counterpick that character, but they have so many tools, man. Versatility is uh, is super crucial here. So, and yeah, we'll see what uh, character they're gonna throw into the next one to see how versatile they are. So, um, yeah, I think I don't know exactly which player it is. We'll have to wait for production to throw that up on there. But yeah, also interestingly enough, this is the uh, the the juice box is real set. I don't think it's any different from SCS's actually. Now that I look at it, I think it's probably mm. the same. Don't know. Some some tournaments run uh northern cave i know my regions yeah okay we got a mimin coming in by the way uh i'm assuming that their internet should be stable uh well i guess we'll just have to find a way and see and here it is um but yeah how are we gonna say that tag can you say it first so i don't sound dumb zerzel zerzel okay i'm gonna say zerzel um because usually when you see a z anyway i think like xylophone uh and stuff like oh, that yeah so when i see i see that i just say zerzel do Canadians say Zed? Y yes. So you'd be like Zer Zettel? <laughs> no, 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 we don't. It, it, it's only. For sure. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. Also, like, I, I think as a gamer, like, because you play with NA so much, I stop saying uh. Zed. Like, because I say on my GameCube, <laughs> I say the Z button. Yeah. But the Zed button, that's so weird. Like, the Zed button. Like, yeah. Oh, man. Oh. But speaking of buttons, uh, Zerzel is definitely. The back uh, of the A button is what they pushed right there. Yeah, man. They are pressing buttons and taking stocks, man. They only took 23 so far. And they're about to take this one. Oh, never mind. Getting that air dodge right back to the ledge. Uh, if they didn't air dodge, they were definitely dead. Like, they weren't making it back. <laughs> oh, nice grab there. The back throw. And there it is. Yeah, see, using that uppy like that to catch, like, jumps after being back thrown is just so useful here. And you feel like you've gone in on the Minmin, and then they just roll back, and then they just punch you again. And you're like, man, I'm back here again. The worst and now part I'm back is like, there you, again. yeah, you get in on them, right? And they, they throw out attack, like, uh, while you land on their shield, right? And you're like, okay, I can, or I, I can shield this one. And then you're like, you try to, you know, punish the first one. You're like, hey, you know, I got a second arm, right? <laughs> it's like, damn yeah. it. <laughs> it's crazy, because, like, not only are they so <laughs> safe, but also they, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God! Go to the blast zone. You go, dude. He, he dashed in, and Midman said, "Eat this megawatt, <laughs> loser." <laughs> it, it, they do so much shield stun. It's so hard to get in. I mean, this whole match we just saw um, uh, the Ike player here just trying to push their way in, only to get sent back to the blast zone every every time. That looked promising. That double up air there. But then, of course, you want to go for a punish off stage, and then there it is. You can just walk and use normals. Mega Man obviously walks and shoots pellets, but those are like projectiles. And they're lemons, so they're kind of like whatever, right? But she like actually walks up to you with like Megawatt, and it does a ton of damage, and that's kind of what we saw here. So, and look at that fall with Mega uh, Megawatt cover, and there it is, walk Megawatt, and that's gonna be it.
Can you imagine if they actually treated Min Min's arms as projectiles? Like, Fox could just, like, sit in, uh, in down B, and, like, her arm would go out, and then it'd be, like, her punching herself in the face. I think that'd be the funniest thing. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I, I wish it was the case, man. We need more counterplay to this character. This character is ridiculous. This People character's are saying, gonna get worse uh, offline, man. People think I, it's oh, no, not totally. my character. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to take a quick second right now to uh, address the chat because obviously I'm really glad chat is here watching this event. They said, do Canadians pronounce H like British people or USA people? I said H. There you go. Is that correct? I don't know. Also, I'm weird. I say H. I say schedule, set schedule, and I say Tuesday, and I say milk instead of milk. Well, aren't you also, I, I, um, isn't it like, I, didn't you say your mom's British or something? Yeah, I uh, know my, my, my dad. So like, I, I sometimes, yeah, I know everyone makes fun of me in school. They were like, Tuesday, Tuesday. I can't, I can't, Tuesday sounds weird. Cause I have to like, I have to force it, you know, like, and then I, I say milk sometimes instead of milk. Cause it, it, it rolls out of the tongue quicker. Oh, yeah. So everyone makes fun of me for that. So y'all know something about me now. They got me on the mic. Yeah, even productions <laughs> yelling it in my ear. Uh, but like, you got me on the mic. I'm here to cast Smash for you. And now that you're here and you had the privilege of watching these events, you also got to learn a little bit about me. So mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah, Pride's <laughs> like a really interesting dude, actually. In fact, you know, speaking of how interesting he is, and we're gonna probably gonna be oh, waiting a little you. bit till our next player comes in. Why don't you tell them where they can find you real quick? We got a little bit of time. Well, already Rise Champions League, the production's crazy. They already put my Twitter down below. So if you want to find me there and uh, say hi to me, uh, you can find me there. I also uh, stream on Twitch uh, at twitch.tv slash pride SSB. Uh, if you like this crew battle stuff you're watching now, I'm no stranger to doing them. I, I do other Smash content as well. But usually when a crew's like, hey, uh, I really want help. Can you stream this for a bit? You know, it's only like an hour or two of my time unless, you know, they take the time out. Uh, extension or whatever and then i have to sit there forever if they don't do that uh I, i'm streaming the crew battles and it's a it's a really good time so you can find me there and i mean obviously you can find skiff at their twitter skiff talks and also what else skiff do you have other stuff um no not really <laughs> <laughs> like uh i do stream from time to time i do have a twitch which again is just skiff talks um i'm not the most consistent streamer but you know every once in a while i do stream uh, i've been streaming mostly um some pokemon lately a little bit of Smash Ooh. Bros, not as much, but um, also uh, Rushdown Revolt, which is a uh, very, very oh, fun yeah. game. Oh, yeah, you to told play. me about that. That game is uh, very sick. It's like if you, uh, if you liked, um, uh, you know, what Melee is, and there's a game that came out a while ago mm -hmm. called Com or Icons Combat Arena. Yeah, uh, basically, that. that game became Rushdown Revolt. A lot of fun. I think they're currently in a free beta right now if you're interested. But uh, what else is free is this entertainment you're getting right now, man. It's on Twitch. You just got to open it up and watch. Tell your friends about it. Tell them it's free. It's free entertainment, man. You can watch the two great commentators talk about a game. And, uh, you know, it's a good time. It's a good time for everybody. It's a good time for everybody. Let's see if it's going to be a good time for this Larry player. Because, honestly, we saw how that last game went. And it's already looking to be sort of similar. That is unfortunate. Just got love tapped by the dragon arm as they tried to side me back to stage. Mm -hmm. Man, that's... This is this is rough. Like Min, Min I, is such a good crew battle character as well, because I think a lot of people, uh, for their own enjoyment and sanity, kind of refuse to play the matchup, and it, that kind of hurts them in some ways because they don't know how to fight it. Um, and you end up getting situations like this where it's just Min, Min can just uh, go off and be really really dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, so far, man, uh, Zerzel is definitely a problem here. Ooh, for Lamp Shady. Oh, that's a big back throw. Definitely not going to kill, but ooh, <laughs> you got to forget that. Like, no, when, oh, oh, my goodness. They were dead center stage. They yeah. were center stage. And it's just, man, I feel like you have to sit in shield this entire time. But like I was saying, man, sitting in shield, it's the, all this stuff does so much shield damage. So uh, the whole concept of I'm going to shield and now punish doesn't always apply here. Oh, oh man, here's the, here's the thing that's interesting though, right? Is like Lamp Shady, like we are we're all aware about Min Min's uh ledge trapping or edge guarding, right? Um, yeah. you know, with that that ram ram when it comes out, it just basically you kind of can't grab it. And it looked like, oh my god, Zerzel, you're insane. Oh no, I see production's gotta keep up and change the score so quickly. Because <laughs> and I was saying this before, I was saying three stock difference is a whole other player, and they're one stock away from being down by two whole players. Mm -hmm. And like again, if Zerzel can like win without losing a stock that would 110 percent goes back down to being zero so uh -huh. uh, that really why is mimin heavy i don't, I don't know i don't know but like <laughs> what's interesting right now is uh megawatt is on the uh on on the screen here uh yep. which allows ooh, okay. oh okay we, that was, we that was untackable 
We take yeah, those. We definitely yeah. take those. You, any stock taken off of Zersul, which is basically, uh, oh. obviously, star player right here with a really strong character, you need mm -hmm. to take any stock you can get, no matter how it is. Okay, so here's Wait. the situation right now. We just saw a megawatt to put a good amount of shield damage on, and if you could find a yeah. way to keep Lamp Shady uh, on, oh, okay, <laughs> on the uh, on stage and be able to hit him again with that megawatt, you could potentially pick their shield. But this is something I want to point out on the first stock is that Lamp Shady, um, obviously not wanting to recover low because of Ram Ram, is trying to go high. But the problem is, is that Min Min on stage, which uses her up B, it's a gigantic jump, and he's trying to snipe him out of the air with that Dragon Laser. So Lamp Shady mm -hmm. needs to be careful. He's got a little lucky oh. so far, and. <laughs> Almost losing a shield break. I will bring that to luck once again, but oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> uh, hey, did you see that? Oh my god. That was like above the screen. I, I know there's some production with the, the, the uh. tags and everything up at the top for you guys viewing, but like that's that's insane. They just got it. Also, I want to mention, I don't know if the replay is going to capture this. I'm pretty sure Larry did side B and then she just did up smash and then went over top of the side B. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's gonna be captured here in the replay, but when I saw that, I, I was just like, no way. No way. They actually like avoided it. Oh my goodness. See, that was one of those times where Lamp State is trying to we're trying to get back to stage as fast as possible because they're so worried about yeah. the ledge strapping abilities um of Min Min that they actually end up just getting caught by and losing a whole stock. So like definitely it's I get it, I get the rush, but like Min Min's literally looking for that. You have yeah. to find a different oh way and oh my that's dude, that's so that's so much you, pressure, man. She shouldn't have that much pressure. It's it's so crazy because like you never feel safe at any range like of course like if you go and fight me gunner or Samus or something You know what you're kind of getting into right and even snake who controls a large variety of the stage with their c4s their grenades You kind of know what you're getting into but with Min Min it's it's you never feel safe whether you're in the air Whether you're on the ground if you shield it's it's difficult So this matchup has to be labbed out by so many people uh, When offline returns because if you're gonna go to your offline tournaments and say how much you love this game You better get this matchup down like, it, otherwise, it, it's going to be very tough. Like, I don't even know if it's a matchup issue here. I just think Zersul is actually just super talented with the character. And the people who picked up Min Min and are like, I'm going to pick up Min Min and succeed, they're way ahead of the curve. Like, that's uh -huh. actually like, like I mean, I asked Pink Shirt Guy, I said, do you play ARMS? And he's like, no. And I was like, do you <laughs> no. even like ARMS? And he's like, no. And I said, why do you play Min Min's? Because she's broken. I'm like, all right. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I have to respect that. There's no other answer there. Like, I have to I have to take that. So. No, like, that's um, that's literally what it is. I don't think there's a single person who um, who plays Min Min and, like, actively plays ARMS. Like, the game's yeah. dead. Yeah. Okay. 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 Production okay, let cool. us something know. Skiff, do you want to, I guess, let chat know what we were told? Hmm. I guess I will. So, uh, <laughs> apparently, Zerzel's being subbed out. They might have somewhere to be. I'm not going to inquire any further. It's none of my business. But what we do know is that because of that, um, Flare Blitz is going to be able to sub um, someone in. But the ch the thing is, they will be able to take the stocks. You know, they're still going to have two stocks here to get to the next game. But they have to play the same character. So, we're going to be getting another player in playing Min Min. And that's gonna be interesting, man. Like I feel like uh I feel like people don't um it's one of those characters that like I don't think enough people play. <laughs> like this character is clearly busted, but not enough people actually play them. So it's gonna be interesting. I don't know if they have another minion or just someone who just happens to know the character a little bit. So Yeah, also uh no, I know I know who uh this is. I, I I'm really close to them. They're actually like friends with uh, friends with me, and they actually helped me set up Pride and Honor. Uh this oh. is Plague. They're a Min Min Min. Uh we oh, have very funny. We, we have very funny experiences when they come on stream. Dude, my, my Ness, <laughs> it, it's good. But honestly, no, uh, I get the people who put in the time with Mimin and Plague is one of them, right? They're going to do well. So it, it's not just a, hey, man, I, I know you're a Mario main, but can you can you play Mimin for the sub? Can you just do it? for? It's not That's not the case here. We actually have another Min Min player uh, take over. Uh, will they play similarly, similarly to Xerxel? Uh, from me playing Plague, I'd probably say no, but... That's the thing with Mimin. Like, you can have so many different play styles, dude. Hold on. And it's very tough. Is it title? They have title too? Oh, title oh, is subbing. It's oh, never oh, mind. God. Oh, it's title. I lied. I saw Plague talking, and then I'm like, wait, actually, never mind. It's title. Title's good. Like, title's actually a really good mid mid. <laughs> okay, never mind. I, I ignore everything I just said. Now I look oh, like a clown here. That's tough that is very tough man uh title makes some pretty solid runs in some tournaments every once in a while mm -hmm. no totally. um 
this is tough, man. I, I, Zerzo was playing fantastic. So to see uh, see them actually have to get subbed out, it's a bit disappointing because I feel like they could have probably taken like three more stocks. Like, I'm going to be honest, they were on fire. Yeah. But title is no slouch. Um, and then Inc. has got to find an answer to Min Min fast because uh, it, it's going downhill from here. Yeah, like uh, uh, there are a lot of characters that so far early in this online meta have been theorized to be good. I mean, I've heard Bayonetta is really good. I heard Sheik is really good. I've heard Joker has a fighting chance or is quite strong. Um, if there's any Min Min players in chat, feel free to enlighten me because honestly, I want the knowledge. Uh, also, I want to know who I should pick. I mean, I play Joker, so it's, that's probably my answer. Yeah, Sheik, Sheik being Min Min's worst matchup uh, from what production says and from what I've heard is... It's definitely, it makes a lot of sense. You kind of have um, the mobility to jump over arms and needles and stuff. I've definitely, I've definitely seen it a few times uh, in like the juice box tournaments where the buzz is making a run with Min Min and uh, doing fantastic, you know, not really struggling with anybody. And all of a sudden they run into uh, Sharp. <laughs> and Sharp yeah. honestly is a mastermind at taking down Min Min. Like she, cause Sheik's already a very good character for him anyway. And mm -hmm. like, and it's just like, he, he seems like he definitely, he understands the matchup against Min Min. And like, if you're looking for someone or like a way to t like tackle Min Min yourself, check out Sharp versus the Buzz. I'm sure there's a few clips on YouTube of it. Uh, that thing is, it, dude, it's bad, man. It's not like the Buzz is playing bad or just can't handle it. It's just that Sharp is just like, just dismantling them. The amount of pressure that he can put down on Min Min and be able to bob and weave around the stage, it's, it's something else. Yeah, you can avoid a lot of that pressure that Min Min applies. And then of course, mm -hmm. Uh, it, I know it seems difficult because it's not actually a bad recovery, but if you, as long as you like uh, put a lot of horizontal pressure off stage against Min Min, her tether's not as reliable as like you know Jokers or Bylets and stuff like that. So you can get some right. like early kills that way, uh, and it's just about going over the arms, right? You go over there and chuck some needles and stuff like that, and just uh, basically apply a lot of pressure. So yeah, hey Plague, what's up? Sorry, I mistook the. F I, I thought you were going in. I saw you typing in the chat, so I thought it was you. I know you all, I know you play, but title is the one going in. That's for sure. Oh God. <laughs> I'm excited to see how this goes down because I'm not the one fighting the Min Min. I get to watch it from here. <laughs> oh yeah. This should definitely be, um, it should definitely be, uh, interesting to see what happens here. I don't know what's taking so long for them to get into the arena, man. Like hey, man, know who's coming I'm, in. I'm used, I'm used to this. Uh, it's okay, just there we go, there we par go. for the, it's par for the course here um but yeah we're gonna we're gonna get right onto it i and I, I don't know if i'll be able myself i am a, i'm an experienced caster obviously skiff is very experienced as well i don't know if i'm gonna be able to see the difference between the two minmins but i hope to be able to uh get that what was in the face you are you, you're really good <laughs> dude i've been doing this for like a year and a half <laughs> and i honestly me you put the me hours getting, in, okay? listen me me getting to where i am is just stumbling and bumbling around and just being in the right spot at the right time and having to convince people that uh they like what i do <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, I mean, it's it gonna be out. interesting to uh, yeah, no, for sure, for sure, it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out. Um, title is very good. It looks like they're gonna be going against uh, Why Delirious here with the uh, the Terry, and this could be really bad. So Terry could potentially put down a lot of damage here, but the problem comes down to like, if Title finds them off stage, Terry doesn't exactly have like the most resources uh, no. off stage. So like, it could be they really don't bad. Don't snap to ledge, which Ram Ram is just gonna be like, hey, what's up, and then mm -hmm. he loses stock. So it's going to be really, really tough here. And also, like, of course, you deal tons of damage with, you know, jab, jab, power dunk, anything off of down tilt, right? But it's about getting getting in. Wow, I like that the Nair nullified one of the arms. That was kind of cool. Mm. Okay, there we go. Doing a pretty good job, though, fighting this damage, um, putting some good pressure down on title so far. Yeah, this is looking really, really good here. But, yeah, the burn knuckle is going to get stuffed in the air. Crack shoot, and they're not oh. going to be able to make it. Uh, I think they wanted to fast fall because I, I don't blame them because you just want to avoid any range of that arm, right? You know, mm -hmm. where they can angle it down. So you want to go low, but even the X rising tackle won't do it. Oh, nice, good get up attack there. Just sort of stuff any ledge pressure. And here we go, 36%. Yeah. But the worst part of that too is just that like they had go on board and they probably could have like really utilized it to, to take the, these two stocks. I'm going to take one stock, so it isn't the worst thing in the world. But still, to lose yeah. a stock like that in that fashion, that's something you definitely don't want to do because it's not like you have a game two and a three to like recover from it. You you get three stocks, man, and like those three stocks are still part of your team's stocks. Like you're just kind of throwing it away at that point. But there we go. We're going to yeah. see a uh, 
And Buster Wolf just put out a little bit of damage here. It's just can Delirious find a way to close this out or will Title find a way to take another stock? It will oh, take a second stock. My oh my goodness. God. I see that like, that's the stuff that gets me. Like it's always like, okay, there's the arm. It went high. I can regular get it. And then Megawatt shows up and you mm -hmm. save Megawatt for the actual hit you're intending. And right. Minmin's are so good at that. There it is. Oh. And also spot dodge, a very abusable option in ultimate. And Minmin just says no to that. So and what, what is Terry to do? What is oh, Terry to do? No. Burn Knuckle, going to try to get through, not going to do it. Mimmin's Reign of Terror continues. And why Delirious immediately in the chat types, oh, damn, GG's. Like, like yeah. really fast. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. Like, they were already flying to the blast zone, and their hands went from the whatever control they were using to the keyboard. Like, <laughs> it definitely doesn't help, like, where, like, Minmin has all these, like, all these pressure options and, like, these arms that can go, like, halfway across the stage. And then they also gave her, like, Smash 4 Cloud Nair in, in three different forms, you know? Uh, fast, oh, yeah. and, fast and, you know, not, not a whole lot of knockback, but then, like, a little bit slow. It's just a little bit slower and just kills you at, like, 80. It's, it's the worst thing. <laughs> yeah, so that's crazy. And look at that. Yeah, the thing is, like, Burn Knuckle also doesn't... It's not like Raptor Boost where it, like, it snaps to ledge immediately. Like, sometimes even in friendlies, I forget that I have to fall and hit up B as well. So when that happens, right, Mimin can also just snipe you. So that's why, like, I feel that why Delirious has to recover high in those situations. But we saw in the last game with, like, you know, Larry, right? You just, just, oh, up B, here come some arms. Oh, are you going low? Here come some arms. So I'm telling you, man, this, this character, say what you will about them uh, and their game design or whatever, mm -hmm. but... If you're gonna learn the matchup, you really gotta learn to fight, like learn ways to dismantle. And it might come a time where people may have to pick up a secondary that is uh, okay. capable of taking so, them on. I've I'm not said throwing this Cloud for a while. I've said this for a while. We got two more characters coming out in this uh, come out in this game, at least that we know about. I mean, everybody seems to be really on the train that like we're, we're gonna get more characters. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get them. Sakurai's literally straight up said like, "Hey, this is gonna be know. it." And like everyone's like, yeah, but he's lied before. Like, dude, like, has he though? Like, has he said, I'm not doing any more characters and then release more characters? Either way, I'm not going to continue to argue about that. But as far as we're aware, we're only getting two more characters, right? That's going to put us at like 80 something characters in the game. I think by yeah. the time by the time we get to the end of Ultimate's lifespan, it there's just no way that like, especially when we get, you know, nerfs and buffs as we move forward, there's just no way that I think people are going to be able to play just one character. There mm -hmm. might be a few characters I think you could completely solo main and be able to handle, but I, I just don't think if you want to make like deep runs, like you want to win EVO, you want to win Super Smash Con, you want to win Genesis, you got to have two to three characters i mean at least two characters yeah that you could play at a sharp high, a top level like sharp for sure yeah like sharp's got like 14 different characters man and even then like you don't you have to be like sharp <laughs> well that's the thing is like even when sharp has like 14 characters you can play at a high level he still tends to struggles like, against some characters man like it's just it's how yeah. this game is like the, there are characters that just have completely like game nullifying strengths and you just yeah, you have to have they, something else to play against them. invalidate you a lot yeah if you're already on the official smash bros website right uh i think they classify uh the individual pokemon and the individual me fighters but technically nintendo's fighter number we've already hit 80 because pirate myth are separated so we're already mm -hmm. on 80 so assuming the next two characters are um individual characters which by the way steve and alex are the same number uh assuming they're individuals we'll have 82 characters now i'd love for there personally to be four more characters and here's why it's because if you include the mies we'll have a full square we get four more characters otherwise it would CSS be nice. looks like weird it'd be nice but it would be other nice. than that i uh, some people are like please we love what you've done and you've represented video games so well stop adding characters so we don't have to learn a million matchups and i respect that uh some people want more characters i don't know i'm just glad we're still getting two more uh, it's kind of hype, but oh, yeah. Wow. Regardless, right though, the next game, we Holy. Need, yeah, we wow, that was crazy. I love the in in, in game uh tag, which is down B, because you know you, you know for a fact you're definitely gonna want to switch Pokemon between these. Now, Pokemon Trainer, I'd expect Squirtle to do quite well, and we might see a lot of Squirtle in comparison to the other two Mons. Of course, like I just feel Charizard just gets destroyed, uh, and Ivysaur yeah. also can't keep up. But as, assuming the Squirtle can deal the damage, that'll be good. My God, the shield. Pressure. You do have Razor Leaf though, and you do yeah. have stuff like this. So, wow. yeah, the platforms uh, are definitely going to come in huge here for sure. Um, but this thing is like with Smashville. Like, obviously, there's a few stages like this. You kind of like create a tunnel for Min Min. So, um, it's really you gotta you gotta play your game just right if you're gonna get in on Min Min. Right so far, uh, using that platform like we saw already, man, put a good amount of damage. And is so far, Bloomy's getting kind of close here to being able to close out the stock. Oh, oh. No, 
Yo, that was so smart. That was, that was so beautiful. smart. I wish oh. I took the stock, but that was beautifully played. Oh my goodness. I, I was like, if you just down in there maybe and sent it back, that would have been clean, but still very, oh, very that's good. It. That's and, it. Uh, no, oh, why not. a back throw? Yeah, back throw. I was up throw is actually uh, weaker than it looks. And oh my god, that's it. Okay, there well, we go. Hey, you know what? You came in, you did your job, you got rid of the min min, which honestly is a problem. Because now we're sitting here, twelve stocks to six. So that means um, and then Ink been... only has two players left, right? And yeah. uh, Flare Blitz has four, four players. That that is really really tough to and deal with. And they know but... one of them. They know it's mm -hmm. a PT. So if someone's yeah. like, oh dude, I love Pokemon Trainer. My practice partner plays Pokemon Trainer all the time. That'll prove to be a very big threat. And, you know, that'll be tough. So, yeah, two to four. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely uh, very, very tough to deal with. But, man, that was actually a beautifully played stock from uh, Bloomy the whole way through, man. Um, Squirtle, like, tried to get a little bit of damage. You know, you want to try and get some rush down. And Min, Min tends to struggle with it a little bit. And, like, they recognize, okay, I got to get Squirtle out of here. Got some beautiful damage done with that Ivysaur. And then Charizard really just came out here and put so much pressure onto Min, Min off stage. Like, look at that. Just threw out three Nairs. Didn't connect any of them. But like, yeah. if any of them connected, we killed. But still, just, like, just say, hey, man, don't come over here. I'm going to hit you. And then still finding a way to close out that stock with that fly. Beautifully played once again. And uh, you know that's what you need moving forward. And PT can handle a lot of characters, man. So I'm wondering this, uh, who Flare Blitz is going to send in to um, really find a way to close this character out. There are only a few characters in my head uh, that really would give PT some struggles. And one of them, like I know, Young Link gives them problems. Diddy Kong gives them problems. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I mean, they're pretty solid. I, I, maybe I'm missing a match up here and there, but still. But yeah, what I want to admit was uh, that last match. Uh, there was so much confidence going in there instead of being fearful of like, oh, you know, I, I felt like there was no question of like, how do I fight Min Min? What do I do? No, they had the answer to everything and they and they put so much pressure on title and that's just kind of how it worked. So having to fight a Pokemon trainer uh, with that kind of confidence backing them, that's going to be really, really scary. So I'm going right. to be really excited to see who they decide to throw in. Yeah, it is definitely um, super tough though like when you kind of think about it i i know we had um title replace zerzal right but when you look at it it took three characters to take one stock each from min min and that yeah. is just a situation you do not want to be in no like, that's not good at all not, i forgot i forgot who the last person zerzal knocked out but it went from that player to um to the terry that we saw earlier and then it finally here. Granted, they didn't take a stock off that um, off uh, Bloomy, but like, why are you letting it get that far? You know? <laughs> no, no, exactly. Uh, it seems like we have uh, Kershon coming in mm -hmm. now. I check the sometimes. Here's a, a tactic you can use, and some players in the SES do this too. They go into old crew battle chat logs, and then they type in a tag. Uh, to see like what was the scoreboard for previous crew battles. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know. I, I couldn't really find anything of value, but all I saw was them type in the, the the character name Yoshi. Do they play Yoshi? I have no idea. But that's just a hint. But um, yeah, that's 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 all I see. But they're gonna go in. Uh, we're gonna see what bands we're gonna get here. Uh oh, it's a Pac Man. Yo, Ooh. oh, Pac Man, Pac Man PT to me in my head seems even yeah like, it can it, in be, my head um there's definitely like a good matchup to be had here but like um pt could very well like just put down enough pressure to um <laughs> like really nullify a lot of stuff like ivysaur i think i don't know how many razor i think like, a couple razor leaves will actually knock the uh the fire hydrant away and obviously squirtle can really chase down pester pac-man a lot uh mm -hmm. up, up close in person and then like once you kind of put enough damage down that charizard man very very big problem for a lot of characters uh pac-man is not excluded from that no for sure here oh my gosh that the hydrant proved to be a little bit scary here we're gonna be oh we're gonna still Ooh, be able okay. to have the hydrant active and back aired into uh into bloomy here mm -hmm. and there we go oh okay still got the galaga in hand that's actually huge oh wasn't able to get the second hit but still being able to pick up that galaga once again after they basically dropped it uh that was really well played by kershawn but uh so far fairly even game so far only 10 percent separating the two got a lot of game left in this one no for sure here i like the razor leaf here tossing it to kind of like encourage no jump and that was really good and see that's why pokemon stadium 2 is such a good stage because you can st stand on that platform and avoid a lot of the pressure mm -hmm. here that pac-man's throwing i'm glad to see that we're not on a fd that'd oh. be a very very tough to deal with him wow 
Oh, okay. oh, that was oh huge. yo, that was yeah. so good. I, like, of course, seeing that you couldn't get a, like an immediate follow up off the first <laughs> bell, you just wait. And the threat of the second bell is so good, and that already that Bloom is going to go down a stock. Yeah, and uh, taking fifty percent as soon as they respawn too. And I like how Krishan, you know, they, he he got their damage. They got the damage, and then uh, they did the little uh, the crouch walk thing or whatever. Oh no! Oh not gonna no! Be, they mistimed the downer. Was it? No, another. This is okay. 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 Not 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 huge. It wasn't a big deal, but still, man, like eighty eight percent so far. If he actually connected a second bell, that would have been another stock, man. Pac-Man smash attacks are absolutely no joke. And here's the other thing: is that Pac-Man can spend so much. <laughs> And I can't believe it. Okay, okay, the stock's gone, but dude, untackable and the trampoline saved. I don't know. I, I need to look at chat. Dude, I want to do something. Dude, that was what I was trying to say is Pac Man can spend a lot of time off stage. Like, Pac Man does not need to go, uh, that does not need to just like rush back to stage. You, you got, um, you got your jump, you've got your side B, you can throw down a hydrant. And then like side B, throw down another hydrant, and then you can up B, and like he can spend so much time off stage. Like he can really wait out any sort of like option that you're trying to really set up. So I mean like <laughs> you gotta like kind of go out there and put that pressure. Like we saw um Bloomy go off stage, try to get that downer spike and completely whiffed it. Like you gotta make sure you're on top of that, dude. No, if you because honestly, you have to when again a tournament set, you could let that slide, right? There's two oh. stocks apiece, but no, you literally only have five stocks for your crew. <gasps> you have to be a uh, like like overperforming, you know, you have to outperform against uh, mm -hmm. uh, Flare Blitz if you want a chance to win here. And oh, nice hydrant there is kind of an anti air just to make it so that uh, oh. no efforts come through. Good order, throws the apple. Okay, okay, down throw. Yeah. Oh, okay. for that back air. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to find that back air, but you know what? Definitely going for the setup in general, especially when you get that tipper. It kills a lot earlier than some people think sometimes. So, oh my god, unfortunate. Got the you know, tried to go for some uh, flamethrower damage there, wasn't able to get it, and instead, like, we're just gonna see the roll onto stage for a forward smash. And they got the spike that time, but he spiked him right into his recovery. They got to get rid of that trampoline somehow. Okay, Charging here we go. We're gonna see, game. uh, yeah, gonna see those razor leaves. He's trying to get rid of the hydra, man. All right, they're out of shield. Just kind of, you know, getting that pressure off them. Got to run away, get some more fruit that, loaded up. That's rough. Ivy sort of wants to use Razor Leaf to sort of, like, uh, put pressure on you. But Pac-Man wants to actually stay away from you to develop bonus fruit. So it's like, what do you do? Oh, that was fantastic. Uh, the drop through platform up air. That's going to yeah. be good. No, well, they, they wanted the, the hydrant there, and uh, they, the hydrant was still, um, was still on stage or wasn't ready to go yet. So, unfortunately, just kind of put yeah. himself to, in a free-to-hit spot. Oh, he's he's going for he's going for the bell setup on, on the water. He's, he's, he's scaring him because <laughs> instead of throwing him up, he's just like he's just waiting and holding shield there. Still have the bell. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, 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 okay. That was clean. I, I I know the 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 pellet line didn't actually like follow through with the solid hit, but still, that was so clean. I love the wow. The logic that was a behind beautiful it. parry. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah, okay, so dude, okay, so Bloomy's not playing bad here right now, but Kershawn definitely seems to be setting the uh, the tone and the pace of the game here. Uh, Bloomy's definitely got to yeah. play Kershawn's game, and uh, that's oh, that's oh, oh wow, very nice. Yeah, not enough time to run up and up smash, but okay, you know what? I've seen Charizard comebacks. Okay, I've seen oh, ridiculous yeah. rage Charizard comebacks. It is yeah, this, possible this is for Bloomy to <laughs> yeah to stay alive here. Oh wow, I like the encouraging the jump there. Slow projectiles are underrated. Whatever fighting game you play, projectiles mm -hmm. that move slowly are scary. Yeah. That's the hydrant. Tried to go oh, for that's flare it. blitz here. That's it. Uh, oh no, won't be. Okay, just barely living, man. I thought the apple was gonna be able to send him straight up and kill him, man. Especially at 182. Oh <laughs> I, I, I was like Even sometimes Pac-Man means forget. Yeah, dude. Uh Oh, dude, he was actually looking for uh, for Bloomy to actually drop through the platform, and that apple would have just zoomed across the stage. Yeah, That's actually apple, some really good, uh, really good placement. Yeah, no, I know. That was scary, the Z-drop apple. And the, the hydrant, I think it slowed it down, and we're seeing a lot of desperation here for Bloomy. <laughs> I mean, we need a 248. Why not? There it is. Oh, man, Flare Blitz just got Flare Blitzed. Dude, why, that's why did insane. he live to 260? Kershawn, you gotta, you gotta, at some point, you gotta be like, listen, I'm the boss in this game right now, man. <laughs> you're you're yeah. not gonna bully me. But full range charge on Flare Blitz. He Flare Blitz like four times in a row and got it to land. That's crazy. I I warned you. I said it, man. I said, you know, Charizard can make sick comebacks. And they will, yeah, that was really bonkers. I, <laughs> that was so weird when I saw that happen, but still got the back here to clean that up. And oh. wow, really, really exciting. Pokemon Trainer is still a very hype character to watch. I really like them. I, I mean, Pac-Man is too. Uh, you can say what you want about fighting them. It is a very stressful experience, I'm sure. 
Watch them is a different story. Yeah. Yeah, watch them is a different story. That's why it's I tell very, people very all the cool. time, man. Like, uh, like people are like, how how can you do commentary for these characters? Blah blah. Don't you get bored? Like, because I'm doing commentary for them, man. I'm not playing them. Like, yeah. you might not like watching them, but I like I, I like watching them and talking about them, man. Because like that's this is what I get to do. But um, but yeah, dude. Like Pac-Man, I think Pac-Man's a fantastic character. I, I'm I'm a huge fan of T. So like uh, Pac-Man's in general, just uh, mm, I love it. But uh, what yeah. I do want to talk about here though is like. <laughs> I can't forgot about that one, dude. He had back yeah, the right. I, I, I told you guys, I said that's, that's bonkers, man. That's so oh. bonkers that that happened. Dude, like, dude, Krishan really gave um, Lumi just way too much respect in this uh, this entire game here, man. It was just very, uh, very upsetting. But the, the crazy thing is here is that, like, we are going to see um, Lumi uh, get the Flare Blitz for Team Flare Blitz. I mean, uh, <laughs> so... Dude, look at this. That was actually kind of scary right there. Yeah, 248 and then ending off at 260. Bam. Oh, My geez. goodness. Triple Flare Blitz. How does it feel, Flare Blitz? <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, though, like Flare Blitz, I don't think they're really too phased. It's four stocks and nine stocks. So it's just one more stock of Bloomy mm -hmm. and then whoever is the anchor for NN Inc. And that allows, you know, either three to two players most likely to be able to find the most adequate... Um, counter pick so that's the thing this is the first full cv of the rise channel amazing yeah no it's or, well i don't think it is sure but like it is no no it, yeah. it is. It's, it's the first it's <laughs> oh the last, the last the last team uh they forfeited because they didn't have enough players oh uh, I, I was at work so i i don't know yeah but, so uh, uh <laughs> so technically it's, it's not the first crew battle but it's the first full well, it's not the first full crew battle yet peter you better slow down man uh, things can happen so <laughs> yeah but um Damn, it's just, I, I'm glad you guys have been here for the ride. It's really great to see so much uh, interaction here uh, in chat. I hope you guys are enjoying the crew battle because we're coming towards the end here. NN Inc., you know, they have the one stock and then the other anchor and then Flare Blitz with the nine. We're getting close to the end. And I, I don't know, this is where the good play comes because it's not to discredit um, strong openers or really good middle, like, uh, middle players here, but it's usually like anchors are anchors for a reason. And uh, to see what they'll pull through with is crazy. I mean, because look at the uh, look at the PT Ray Blumi is insane. Who who does that? The triple flare blitz. I mean, when you when you're at 200 something, what else? What do you have to lose, right? What's the extra 10 percent going to do for you? But uh, yeah, so that's a uh, that's pretty crazy. Um, I'm gonna go check the crew battle chat because that's what I usually do just to kind of get a heads up to see what to expect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Blumi says, follow <laughs> me on all my social media. I love it. Yeah, uh, people people are just kind of you know throwing out their socials in there. I figured, you know, hey, follow me on Twitter. And hey, speaking of following people on Twitter, if you actually look underneath us right now, you will actually see our Twitter handles. That's where you can follow us. Um, Pride has been streaming like crazy, does a lot of streams for crew battles, but also does some of their own personal streams. You should definitely check them out. Not only do they play Smash Bros, but they play a couple fighting games as well, like Tekken. And man, if you guys don't watch Tekken, I don't know what you're doing, man. It's pretty but, awesome, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. And then you can also follow me at Skiff Talks. I actually just got done doing a giveaway. I'm probably going to try and do giveaways a bit more often. I just it's really good. I don't know. It's it's fun. It's fun to just give something to people, man. Not everybody can get anything. Giveaway and, land uh, adapters. Exactly. Well, actually, Last is doing a land adapter. <laughs> I, I know. follow Last as well. But uh, I think we're doing a quick um, lag tester. Lag test slash button check. I think it's looking good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Just going to drop these stocks in real quick. I think he does have to go down to one stock, if I remember correctly. Because it's 260 on the last stock, man. That's just insane. Right. Seems good. All right. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I wonder who won. I would yeah, ask them, the, but they're in the middle of the game right now. <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't reveal. I guess we'll find out who's going to win this one, though. That's, that's in all honesty, what's most important here. And uh, it's Wolf. I, I love seeing Wolf. Say what mm -hmm. you will about how you feel about Wolf personally, but I, I love Wolf's inclusion and how really good and top tier he is. That, to me, is I, I like him. He's so he's right. so powerful and so good. Dude, he's good, but, like, all the spaces are actually really good, man. Yeah. Um, I know people don't talk enough about Falco, but, like, Falco's gotten some pretty solid buffs. Oh, since, mm -hmm. since you know, uh, I think we've been in the pandemic. I think that's when he got his buffs. And uh, some of those things are absolutely ridiculous now. Um, like, his up till and, like, a few moves actually got buffed, like, ridiculously. Yeah, the, da the down air did and everything like that. Uh, mm -hmm. And it, they're really good to counterpick a lot of other characters Ooh. with. But you can't beat... The all-around versatility. That is Wolf. It just, everything right. is so good. Look at that. Look at that, Dude, yeah. 
Okay, you have one of the best snares. You have one of the best backers. You have like a crazy comboing forward air. Oh yeah, forward air is really good too. Up like, air is really solid. <laughs> yeah, you have like arguably some of the most obnoxious smash attacks. Uh, I mean, I'm not including Min Min because it's a whole other breed of different. I mean, I mean, just that like the tilts are actually pretty yeah. solid as well. Tilts man. Are also yeah, very tilt. good. Oh. Yeah, forward tilt, up tilt will kill if you're in the right spot, which obviously it's perfectly positioned for platforms. Mm -hmm. He's the, if you come from other fighting games, yeah, yeah, it, it's transcendent. So the Sephiroth can't like side beat or anything like that. You can't like stop it. It just keeps moving. It doesn't stop mm -hmm. for anything. You can play Wolf in any way you want. So anytime someone's like, "Who should I play?" I always tell them to play Wolf. If you come right. from other fighting games, you honestly, this sounds crazy. You kind of need top tiers like Wolf, which are yeah. hopefully for you fun to fight. Uh, have at least one weakness for him, I believe is kind of the recovery, but are just so solid that you can just pick them and learn with them, feel confident, or you can pick them and just perform exceptionally well with them. And mm -hmm. and hopefully they're also fun to watch. So I love me seeing some Wolf. Now, because Flare Blitz pulled out uh, Wolf here, we're going to see what NN Inc. is going to do at the very end to try to I mean... um, make things pull out. Dredian, yeah, that's, that's really cool. So I guess... I mean, also, we don't know who won, actually won. We should ask who won on Elite Smash, because I just realized they had... Bloomy only had one stock, so who really actually won on Elite Smash? I mean, I'm, I'm just going to go on a limb here. That wolf was pretty dominant the entire one stock they played. Who knows? Maybe Bloomy took it. I don't know. But um, Dradiant was definitely uh, on top of their stuff. That's for sure. Dradiant said, I won on Elite. And Bloomy said, I'm still going to hold uh, <laughs> my Flare Blitz over y'all's head. And you know what? You should, man. Run with that. Yeah, dude. I, I'm a I'm a big fan of Wolf. You know, with the recent nerfs and stuff like that, for me, uh, Palutena now, like, because their linear game plan got even more linear and, like, a little bit more punishable, I just think, like, her and Wolf are, like, on the exact same spot on a tier list almost. If I could merge them together, I would, because they serve the same purpose. They're so good, dude. I, I recommend Wolf to anybody, please. It's, it's a great character. Probably also a great matchup spread, too. This Wolf is legit doing the most uh, crazy stuff. I love it. Yeah, Wolf is like, uh, is like, like, okay, this sounds stupid. So I know people are going to get confused when I say this. Wolf is the actual textbook definition of a Shoto. Like, like in terms of like what a Shoto means in the fighting game logic of like character that has like easy to use, like tools that are simple and easy and applicable in most situations, uh, really good normals. I thought Shoto pick up. was having a projectile and a dragon punch. Yeah, I, I mean, you technically, like, it's... That is also applicable, too, but you can kind of narrow it down to they have the tools. Because, unfortunately, if you really want to get down to it, that kind of makes Mario also a Shoto, which I feel like he mm -hmm. kind of is, too. But no, I, I mean, like... Is. if we're Because <laughs> I say, like, the Street Fighter characters and, like, Terry, to me, they're not, like, fundamentally smash for someone, and they're more, like, fighting game characters. But if you want to pick up a character, there's that. Because, like, in other fighting games, you have, like... Kai and Soul Bad Guy and Guilty Gear. Uh, mm. You have Scorpion, Sub Zero, uh, you know, Ryu uh, and Ken in, in their respective games, and Akuma's a spin Cloud's on Cloud's a Shoto. <laughs> Cloud, Cloud is a, Cloud's a Shoto in the city, I'm sure. But no, uh, I, I don't know. I, I wish he was a. Uh, Cl Cloud. And Dark Samus are Shotos. Now we're getting confusing here. That, no, those have <laughs> distinct archetypes. That's not. No, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Now we're, now we're getting to the... I just remember, like, people were arguing, like, what Shoto's actually were, like, all the time on Twitter. I think somebody argued that, like, um, Terry's not a Shoto because these Shoto's are actually barefoot. So people are like, okay, so Donkey Kong? Like, so, like, all sorts of arguments were being made about all sorts of dumb stuff. Yeah, I just saw um, Peter say half the Gla Grand Blue Fantasy versus roster are shows. And I think if you... I wish that game didn't die or had bad net code, but, like, that game was, like, well, the easy way to, be... like, learn. They could be fixing the netcode. Arxis has mentioned before that they're looking to implement rollback into uh, some of their other games. Other games. So, I mean, Bless. So rollback we, is the future, man. We could we could be getting uh, some fixes there. Who else? Technically, yeah. Mega Man's a Shoto. We're going down this rabbit hole, and I didn't mean to, I'm, I'm I didn't mean to open them. up this I'm looking hole. through them right now. Game & Watch is definitely a Shoto. Honestly, okay, you don't know. <laughs> I can't do this, man. I'm going crazy. I'm actually going crazy. I... Uh, <laughs> But that's that's yeah. kind of a show though. Honestly, okay, you know what this is proving to me that this this game there's a lot of easy to pick up characters. How's yeah. there's that? A lot of characters. Uh, Rob are, Rob could be a show though. You no, know, Rob, <laughs> I wouldn't actually argue with Rob. You know what? I would I would say it's similar. Wow, here we go. We got like uh two really solid top tiers here. You're gonna okay, hold on. I just realized something. You're anchoring with Joker, which is like yeah. online is it's kind of stressful because like 
I find that Joker in crew battles is really hard to kind of pinpoint if they're good or not because like mm. they they don't get arson until like they take substantial damage so they're not like roy where like you know they don't have to take damage and then boom f smash joker needs to be winning neutral consistently at the very least if they want to make a stance which makes them in my eyes top two to top three character offline in a tournament setting but crew battles we're just gonna have to see how this plays out mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, this is just, that's, that's gonna be interesting. Because like, not only does the Joker, um, you know, you gotta deal with a little bit of stress here, especially when you're fighting a wolf with a fresh three stocks, oh. and that's one stock gone. Oh. But like, even if oh, Cory so Bro can figure out a way to take these three stocks, you got six other stocks to go through, man. And like, I'm not trying to just count and then ink out and say like it's already over, but um, I am pretty sure it's hey, already hey, over. <laughs> it's an incredibly tall uh, hill to climb, right? For sure. It's like. It, it, it just seems difficult and like I know there's a lot of people who go like oh Joker got worse on Wi-Fi which okay you know what I, I can feel it because like ergonomically mechanically he'll feel worse right Ooh. every character does mm -hmm. but it's just like I said man like your heavy hitting moves don't come out until Arsene shows up and, he, right. and to do that you have to either down B or take damage and in crew battles you, you really don't want to take damage so I, I, I really want to see how far Coria Bro can take um, um, their run and already a one stock taken off uh, Dredian, very, very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Dredian's yeah. been doing a good job, you know, getting some good extra credit here. Um, playing slow. It, yeah, playing slow. Like the, he, I, It's like Dredian knows, like, hey, listen, we've got all the time in the world. We've got eight other stocks outside of that first one that, you know, I just dropped. I don't have to push anything I don't want to here. I can just take my time, get my hits in. And even if he was to, like, rush things down, I mean, he already got one stock. I mean, that's pretty much doing your job just right there alone. It's just a matter of... um. <laughs> Uh, making Corey Bro just feel the pressure, man. Like nine stocks to three, it, it's it's a tough thing to come back from. Yeah, Corey Bro's actually as I'm watching Joker, they're doing a great job. Some of the stuff they're they're, they're missing some extensions just because of Wi-Fi. It's kind of tough to always chain your aerials mm -hmm. uh, frame perfect without them air dodging. But they're doing a great job. And had Corey Bro been playing in the beginner parts of the uh, the earlier parts, excuse me, of the crew battle, been great. Oh my god, Ooh. that was so clean. That was spicy. Let's go. That was that a was very nice. clean grab. Yeah, very good movement from Corey Bro here. But yeah. sitting at 108, even with Arsene out, I mean, you're, you're staring Wolf dead in the eyes. Look, he's got his back towards it. He's straps. like, dude, I want you to get up. I, I got a back air for you. I've got a forward smash. I've, even an up smash, I think, might just kill you here. So I mean, Corey Bro's got to yeah. be very, very careful. Good F tilt. Wow, <laughs> an amazing Tetricarn. Very, very good call out. And very yeah, the thing, the thing is, like, you have to play. You're playing with fire here, right? Because against Dredian, right? You, Arsene goes away quicker when you take damage. So that's not going to make Dredian play slower. They're just going to mm -hmm. apply lots of pressure. Here's some really good ledge trapping. But unfortunately, it's going to get reversed here uh, as Corey Bro is going to be able to throw them up and deal a little bit of damage. But see, like, Neutral, it's easy for Joker to win, but it's, the damage is just, it's just not there when it counts. And 161, F tilt, oh. your tilts are good. Tip for F tilt, that's going to do it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and like, yeah, Corey Bro could do, uh, you know, ver could very well take this stock here. Um, and you'll get to the next player, but man, you're, you are on not just your final stock, but you are on NN Inc's final stock. Oh, so and good. I'm sorry, but one to seven, I just, it, it's just not doable, man. I just, I, yeah. I mean, it's a start. It's a start. It's a start. That's how you do it. Okay, I'm honestly, I'm not gonna lie. That was really good. Like I saw an up throw and then obviously usually a lot of the time, most Smash players, their brains go up throw, let's convert into an aerial. I don't mm -hmm. blame them, but Corey bro up through and dropped down, waited and got another punish. And then finally ended it off with the uh, the forward smash. So very clean. Look at this, that back air. Oh my goodness. That move is a DLC move. They've been saying that forever since the game's come out, but it's, it's true. Tried to get the fair one, couldn't get anything off of it, and the F tilt into the nice back air. Yeah, Joker, you can go really deep off stage with the character. Oh, yeah. yeah, Joker, not even just like without Arsene, but like, like with Arsene, you can go so deep. And that back air, I mean, it's quick, it covers a lot of space. You can just really just create a wall way off stage, man. And that's just something you think people don't want to deal with. Yeah, but, there's the uh, F tilt. Oh, nice. Yeah, but good stuff to Courier Bro being able to just kind of you know, bunker down here, being able to take these three stocks and keeping the, the dream alive for his team just a little bit longer, but still, I mean, I. I know I've said it a few times, but like this is just, it's just, it's not doable. It's not, if it is, I'll eat my stew, but like it's just, it's not doable, man. This is a tough spot yeah. to be in. Let's just see uh, what Choreo Bro can do. How far can they take their run? That's what matters. Let's see how uh, they can make the score look closer. But yeah, no, but I, I'm telling you, Choreo Bro is a very, very talented, um, talented Joker player. Mm. Is this uh, Mon here, Grassy Dino says, there is a hill to climb, but it is Joker. 
I, I, I will admit, I agree with you, but I also like sort of like playing Joker in a crew battle, I always say is very risky. Fat, Let's getting... go. Are we getting oh. Narnia? We're all... <laughs> oh, I, I, I love Narnia. Narnia is uh, I pretty chill. Love, I, I don't just love Narnia. I love DDD, man. I, I love playing DDD. I love watching DDD. Um... DDD is great. I know people like hate fighting this character, but man, me, me. Uh, there's just there's just a certain beauty about this fat penguin with a giant hammer throwing these spiky balls all oh. over the place <laughs> and like swallowing you whole. And boom. yeah, he's it, uh, <laughs> that's just how that's so DDD goes, man. He's got uh, literally the funniest dash attack in the entire Smash Bros franchise. Like, there's no dash attack that's even slightly as entertaining close. as DDD's. Yeah, dude, he he falls so comically slow, and it's so active. And then you mm -hmm. like grab the ledge, and you think you're safe, and then he slowly slides, and then you die, and you're like, oh, yep. yeah, you're like, oh yeah, this hitbox man. is here for like a whole second. By the way, you're not safe. Yeah, I think uh. one big thing too is like if you have to take one stock, DDD is the king of taking things slow mm -hmm. and really in uh, playing on your impatience. Hence, why I hate fighting the character. Uh, but like, it, it it's just it's so rough. Uh, Again, if they just have one stock, so I don't know how they can do it. Because uh, Joker, obviously, by the way, is really good against DDD. Gun is amazing against Gordo. Um, but yeah, it's just I love the in-game tag. If production <laughs> can take a look at no, that. No, I don't like this. I don't like this. And they're also using the wrong taunt, man. Use use the taunt where he dances around in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> production just said, "I see it." <laughs> but yeah, Narnia right is uh, Narnia is pretty cool. So, but uh, so far. Corey, bro, getting a nice little thirty-two percent and forty-one. Oh, and then getting a little bit of Aha too. Aha got nerfed. Okay, Ooh. Joker's nerfs, by the way, were really kind of they kind of uh, they were sort of a, like a hit onto like annoying Wi-Fi Jokers, but Joker's still the same. Oh yeah, Joker's yeah. He, didn't, he basically whatever. didn't get touched at all. The bigger the bigger nerf that he had before is how fast Arsene disappears. It wasn't like huge, but it was enough to make a bit of a difference. It's enough to make him go from absolutely absurd to absurd. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Oh, nice. Oh, nice. All right. Yep. One Corey, stock. Bro. So it's definitely a start, but 62% already, man. And the way, that DDD, oh. the way that DDD hits people sometimes, man, it just, it's like, it's not fair. And there we go. Going to get that nice little grab. Uh, DDD's got a fantastic grab game. I mean, the grab's okay, but like the stuff that he can get out of the grab and the pressure that he can uh, put down to force a grab to happen, it, it's a tough spot yeah. to be in. It's the stage pressure too, right? Like you get so much stage control with those grabs and then he just starts setting up Gordos and his yep, ledge crap is so good and that's it. The back air is going to do it. Flare Blitz Ooh. is going to come out on top uh, with five stocks and it's going to go down. Now, I, I like to say, and just really quickly, I'm really proud of both crews. Any crews that compete in crew battles, mm -hmm. I obviously give kudos to. I think competing in crew battles is really tough, but uh, I think both players uh, did well. Shout out MVP character was most definitely uh, uh, Midman. Uh, title oh, subbing out for Zersal and Zersal yeah, playing. killed it, dude. That was two, three, five, eight stocks taken by like the Min Min players, but that's technically one player. One, uh, so that was like really, really good. Uh, and that was amazing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, anyways, yeah, we're gonna go throw let's throw some uh, ads for you guys to talk about because there are some amazing other Smash events you guys uh, definitely yep. want to be aware of. Well, first things first, let's talk about 2GG's MSM every Monday. Free to enter. North America only starts at 5 p.m. Peace, uh, wow, peace turn. <laughs> Pacific is what I wanted to say. <laughs> nah, dude, screw it. 5 p.m. Peace turn. Uh, you can actually hop on to MSM. Uh, it's, it's a great event. Uh, the guys over there are really awesome, and it's like 500 plus, like 600 people, like almost every Monday, man. A lot of great talent comes through. Uh, the streams are always fun to watch. Shoutouts to to Strides, J Max, um, Vance, actually now officially a part of 2GG. So big shoutouts to the homie. Yeah, let's see.